What's been those and waifus? What's going on? My name is Hermzar. Welcome to another reaction review of Classroom of the Elite. Ayano Koji, big brain man, has decided to not try as hard anymore since there is no ties and no reason for him to be expelled as long as he's getting through in life. Uh, he realizes there's a lot of deception when it came to his hot ass teacher. So now it's just a matter of will they be able to succeed with what they want to do without Ayano Koji? And regarding K, is K going to be safe without Ayano? koji's big brain but ayano koji did say that he was gonna help her no matter what so let's see what happens now <laughs> he's like a robot like the motivating factor is now gone wow he's so colder ryuin is here to cause problems and you guys are giving a lot of credit to ryuin about his intelligence Oh, he just leaves. I bet you those guys are gonna get fucked up. Yo, Koenji's gonna be fine. He still seems to be giving us very, very sound advice, though. I mean, he has... I mean, to be fair, Koenji, Koenji's been moving very suspiciously. <laughs> He's like, I'm no weirdo. Pure poppycock! <laughs> Oh, Ryu and Brooke Mirror. That's bad luck, my boy. That's bad luck. A curious combination of characters. Yo, the, her her squad. The, this guy looks like he' about to do some crazy shit. It's always the the guys that look like this that are silent. The ones that you should, you should be the most concerned about. This guy just looks like a popular guy. She's just command and control. She looks like she's like the the second in command. But this one, this one right here, is the one you should be worried about. Oh, Koenji knows what's up. <laughs> See, that's true. He dipped early. He dipped early to enjoy life. <laughs> I love that Ryu and is just so suspicious of this man right here. Woo! Yo, Koenji's crazy! <laughs> Dragon Boy son. I love that. I love that they're call referring to him as Dragon Boy. Ooh, popular boy with the block. <laughs> Dude, his, his behavior is always a problem, Orkita. What the fuck? She's just realizing that now! Dude, I love how, they're, how they all have like their own little army. <laughs> Damn, there is- this is like a fucking war- Dude, if school was actually like this, I would not attend. <laughs> I would be like, fuck school. It's just weird seeing Ayano Koji just take the back seat. Man, Dragon Boy really wants to find this man. This is all a game to him, man. This is crazy. He loves the fact that there's someone that's smarter than him. Oh, he so he, he might be in love. Uh oh. Oh man, I didn't I didn't know this was a BL. <laughs> Hold on, let's go. Either way, he's going to be hurting the bait. Of course, they would do it in a construction site. It's just a prank, and then there, and then there. Obviously, there's going to be like some suspicious things that are happening that will tie together. But then the teachers will be like, "Ah, oh, he's innocent." She should have just straight up ignored it. God damn it, K. Fuck, dude, that's pain. Dude! Okay, so I understand, like, I understand where Kay's coming from. Because, like, obviously, obviously she doesn't want anyone to know that she has been bullied. That she has been through some stuff. She reinvented herself into this popular person. I mean, uh, man, I told you guys openly that I've been bullied. And I, uh, did I reinvent myself? Probably not. But, 
nonetheless, I mean, who, I don't know what's there to be f in, in a situation like this. Fuck it. I'll take the sympathy card. Like, I don't know why she would do go somewhere like this by herself, too, in a situation like this. What, see, okay, look, listen, look, listen, this is some advice, okay, this is just some advice. I know, like, some old classroom of the elite fans really thought that I didn't have friends. Think about it, guys. If people are really gonna unfriend you because of your past, because you've been bullied and you've been through some shit, should they really be your friends at all? <laughs> He's just pouring water on her? Oh, because it's cold. Something tells me that K is going to really hold out. Yeah, this school has way too many loopholes. They rely too much on surveillance cameras and not enough security. But that's just like real life. That's fucked up, dude. God damn, dude. Ryuid is such a bitch. You, you know, she seems bothered by it, too. That's fucked up, man. It's so fucking cold. She's gonna get really sick. Yo, she can't even stand it. I don't know. How, I don't know how she endures watching this type of stuff. God damn, man. This guy's horny in all the wrong ways. <laughs> I hate this episode. <laughs> I hate this episode. All part, all part of the buildup. I still hate it. <laughs> I hate this episode, man. But part of me feels like Kay is going to endure as much as, he can, as she can. At this point, I have no idea what the plans of Ayano Koji is going to be. Is he going to try to save Kay? I know in the back of his mind, he's thinking about it more than likely. But the question is, will he be able to take action immediately? And honestly, this is fucking up Kay mentally. Because I'm sure in her heart, deep down, she's hoping that Ayano Koji Koji about to pull up and I'm hoping that that he does but at this point it, <laughs> it doesn't seem doesn't seem too good Ryuan is just honestly evil even to the point where you could tell that whatever her name is or whatever the girl's name is right she you could tell that she's motherfucking disgusted by how Ryuan Dragon Boy is carrying himself it, it's it's honestly just extremely messed up just because this is all just a game to him he's just playing around who knows, maybe Horikita might be the one that pulls up, but you know, at this point, it just doesn't look good. It looks horrible. I feel bad for Kay. Kay's always getting the shit end of the stick, man. She's been bullied. <laughs> She's been going through this and that. Shit, I'd be like, fuck it, expose, expose my past. Do it. <laughs> a lot of the times when, when we're like in high school and reputation is a, is everything to a lot of people, especially in a, in a thing like this, we, uh, we tend to go through extremes and we don't want our past like that to be exposed. Bullying is just, you know, it, if anything, it gathers empathy and sympathy from other people, which fuck it, give me that. I'd rather get that. And if people don't want to be my friend anymore because of that, then it is what it is. I just think, oh, man, it's just, it's just a really fucked up situation. I, I honestly just feel horrible <laughs> for, for Kay. Kay's just going through it in, in a sense because she really truly cares about Ayano Koji. She is trying to conceal his identity as the person that's been you know being the mastermind of class d but now that he's taking a step back and he wants no part of this what's going to happen but at least Aono koji he recognizes that ryuin is the problem and he probably knows that at this point even though he's taking a back seat from getting class d up the ranks he probably knows that he needs to do something about ryuin because if he doesn't do something about ryuin is even going to trouble him substantially and it's always going to be a constant headache for him so i think in a way he's probably going to look at it like god damn it i have to do something by the way, guys, that is my reaction review of uh, Classroom of the Lead. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys go and drop a like for me because that helped me a lot. Subscribe, click that notification bell, my boy. Sorry, this uh, reaction is late. Uh, personal issues uh, arises, and I have to take care of that. But anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next one. You always hit me on my line, baby. Hey, I was thinking about you all